Greetings, beautiful soul. This is Dahlia with Spiritual Society here to bring you your pick a card reading for this week to find out all about your soulmates. Is this someone you already know? What zodiac energy do they carry? What are their physical traits? What will you like about them? What will your compatibility be? All of that you will find out in this reading. So stay tuned. Just remember this is a general group reading, so some of the information I share may not resonate, so just take what works for you and leave the rest. And if you feel drawn to additional card or crystal because the first one didn't resonate, please feel free to use your intuition and discernment to see which one is right for you. And if you feel drawn to receive a deeper personal reading, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box below. So take a deep breath. Open up your third eye, allow your intuition to guide you to the card or crystal that calls out to you the most, whether one, two, three, or four, and you can select it from the timestamp below. Let's begin. Welcome in card number one. Thank you for joining me for your pick a card reading to find out all about your soulmate. So the card that you were drawn to in the beginning is I want to reach out to you. So that's your number one message from your soulmate is that they want to reach out to you. Now the stone that you were drawn to is the lapis lazuli. So what I first want to do is see, is this somebody you already know? Okay, so I'm going to use the pendulum to find that out. All right, so the pendulum is going to swing to the answer that is most appropriate for you. Is this someone you already know? Is this someone you already know? Is this someone you already know? All right, looks like it's swinging to the yes side which indicates this is somebody that you already know and that they do want to reach out to you, perhaps to let you know that they have feelings for you. Next question I'm gonna ask, is this a friend of yours? Okay, is this somebody who is already a friend? Is this person already a friend of yours? Yes. Okay, beautiful. So this person is someone you already know. They want to reach out to you and they are currently a friend of yours. So let's move on to physical characteristics. What could possibly be this person's eye color? Okay, what is this friend's eye color? What is this friend's eye color? So it looks like hazel. Yep, okay, so we have a friend with hazel eyes. All right, let's look at hair color. What is this friend with hazel eyes? What is their hair color? What is their hair color? It's looking like brown is the choice here. All right, so we have a friend with hazel eyes and brown hair. All right, now what is their skin color? Hazel eyes, brown hair, what is their skin color? Looks like it's going towards olive. It's in between olive and light brown, but more olive, yes. So we have hazel eyes, brown hair, olive skin. Okay, 
And then what is their body type? What is this person's body type? What is this person's body type? Looks like it's leaning towards stocky. All right. So we have a friend that you already know who wants to reach out to you with hazel eyes brown hair, olive skin, and a stocky body type. All right, beautiful. So do you feel like you already recognize who this person is? Let's get some more insight on their zodiac energy, okay? So what zodiac is dominant in their chart? So we're not just looking at sun signs, but this could be their Venus, their ascendant, which is their rising sign, their 10th house, okay? Which zodiac energy is dominant in their chart? Okay, so we have south node and north node. Very interesting, these came out. So these are positions of the moon, which determine our karmic, destiny and life. So the North Node is what we need to work towards, our future orientation, something that we're supposed to aspire to in this life. Our South Node is more of the energy that we've carried forward, forward from previous lifetimes. So it's our comfort zone, things that we're familiar with, but not necessarily where we should stay because we've overrun our welcome in that area of our life. So the North Node and the South Node are very influential in this person's life. So let's look at the sign of the North Node. And these are opposites, they're on the axis. So we have Aries, Aries North Node, which would make a Libra South Node. Let's just see if Libra happens to come out. That would be amazing if it did, but it doesn't have to. Let's see, South Node. We had Virgo. Leo. All right. So Virgo is very close to Libra. So we'll go with that. But so let's see here. So we have Aries North Node and Virgo South Node. So this isn't necessarily the most accurate, but let me just give you some ideas about this person's zodiac energy that's heavy in their chart. So as a Virgo South Node, that means that their past life energy and energy that they're more comfortable with is Virgo tendencies. Now, Virgos are very organized, very analytical. They're earth signs. So they're very good at being practical, setting goals and doing the tedious tasks to accomplish them. They're one of the most practical signs. So as far as this person's comfort zone and the energy that might be most predominant in their field is the fact that they're very grounded, very practical, likes to set goals and work towards achieving them and organizing their tasks and their day in order to make that a reality for them. Now their North Node is something that they're working towards. It might not be their strongest suit, but it is something that they want to aspire to. Now with Aries, that means that they want to aspire towards leadership. They they want to aspire towards being the greatest version of their self-expression. That means not owning up to anybody to be who they are, but listening to themselves and being who they are comfortably without listening to other people. Now, this also means that they want to act more and think less. So this person may at times get analysis paralysis and they have this inner desire to just act and make things happen, but it might not be their strongest suit to, you know, be a powerful leader or to accomplish what they want without second guessing themselves. That's Those are skills that they're working towards. So depending on when you meet them at what stage in their life, they could either be more in their earth element or more in their fire element, okay? So that's just some insight on 
their zodiac energy. Okay, beautiful. So let's look into what you will actually like about this person. Okay, let's do let's do some tarot cards first. Okay, what are the qualities that you will like and admire about this person? Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords and the Judgment card. What you will like and admire about this person is that they take responsibility for their actions. They're not someone who likes to hurt other people. They're someone who always aspires to be their best and greatest self. They might even be a spiritual person, someone who really, you know, like I said, and aspires to be the greatest version of themselves, someone who listens to their intuition, someone with morals and respect for other people, okay? Let me get some more cards. What will you, okay, okay, wow. All right, so we have the Magician and the Page of Wands, which really reminds me of this Aries energy that they wanna lean into. So something that you will admire about them is their desire to create goals, to accomplish things and manifest in their life. So this is someone who could also be aware of the law of attraction and spiritual techniques to accomplish goals in life. Page of Wands really reminds me of, again, this Aries energy, this fire energy that's predominant in their chart, what they want to move towards. So they're moving towards being enthusiastic, being passionate, being inspired, being someone who can create goals and manifest their desires in their life. And those are things that you will really admire about them and probably something that you will have in common as well. Okay, so let me get some love oracle cards to see what you will like about them, okay? What will you like about this person? Needs time, takes time to heal. So that is exactly what I was saying up here is that you will really admire this person's desire to take personal accountability for their actions, meaning they don't want to hurt anybody. They want to make sure they're operating in integrity. So with this clock card, it says that there's someone who takes time to heal. There's someone who takes accountability for the way they're thinking, the way they're feeling and acting in the world. What will you admire most about this person? Ooh, we have wedding rings. It says union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. So this is very likely to be someone that proposes to you who you take the next step with into a committed union, perhaps marriage. All right. What will you like and admire about this person? It says kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in, in love. So you will really like and admire this person for their ability to give you the type of love that you desire, to love you unconditionally and to be reciprocal in the amount of love that they give you. So you won't feel like you're always chasing them. You won't feel like you're giving more and they're taking more, but there's someone who's gonna love you equally and really dote on you, really care for you. So that is really beautiful. All right. So let me just get some more information about this person. What do you need to know? General characteristics about this person. Okay. We have visits the beach frequent, frequently. Okay. Enjoys cooking. Enjoys tarot reading. Very interesting because I did say that up here that you might have similar qualities in the terms of your spiritual hobbies and desires, law of attraction, even tarot reading, and loves puzzles and board games. Very interesting. So these are some overall qualities about this person. Again, visits the beach frequently, enjoys cooking, enjoys tarot readings, loves puzzles and board games. That reminds me of that Virgo energy that they may carry that they like to organize things. So they may be interested in puzzles. All right, so let's look at what are your compatibilities with this person, okay? What are some things that the two of you will be compatible with? What are your compatibilities with this person? Oh my goodness, 
The Six of Pentacles is exactly what I was saying here about the fact that they're going to be reciprocal in the love that they share with you. They're not going to be someone who takes because this is about giving and receiving, sharing, being valued for what we have and what we give. So this definitely shows me that there's re reciprocity in this relationship. You two are giving and receiving to one another equally. Okay, so that'll be your compatibility there. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Compatibility, this means that you'll feel like your connection is destined. You will feel like this relationship was written in the stars, okay? So that is a very beautiful, beautiful message. I'm going to do one final oracle card just to give you some final advice on magnetizing this connection. It says, I have the power to direct my own thoughts. Your thoughts do create the reality that you live. And one of the most exciting things about beginning the process of deliberately focused thought is that the law of attraction will bring you evidence of your improved thought immediately. And while old patterns may be hard to break and you may slip back into old patterns from time to time, evidence of your effort will be undeniable to you. And before long, with much less effort than you spend trying to dodge negative conversations or train another in to better behavior, all of your relationships will improve. So this is simply saying that your focused thought brings into experience the reality that you desire or don't desire, depending. So this really reminded me of what I was saying up here about what you will like about this person is that they will also know about the law of attraction or they will be inclined to listen and appreciate more spiritual topics. And the two of you will be able to see evidence of your belief in the law of attraction through synchronicities, divine timing, and all that sort of thing, okay? So definitely a positive, positive connection with this person. I love this message for you. It's very beautiful. If you resonate with this message and you want to claim it for yourself, go ahead and comment a magic wand emoji. Again, if you resonate and you want to claim this message, comment a magic wand emoji. Remember that if you did appreciate this message and you want a deeper personal reading, you can always do so by clicking the link in the description box below to book that for yourself. And until the next time I get to read for you, I'm sending you so much peace and love. Bye for now. Welcome in card number two. Thank you for joining me for your pick a card reading to find out all the details about your soulmate. Beautiful. So the card that you were drawn to in the beginning is my emotions for you are running deep. My emotions for you are running deep. The stone that you were drawn to is the moonstone. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is use the pendulum to find out, is this somebody you already know? Okay. Is this person someone you already know? Is this someone you already know? All right, it's leaning towards yes. Okay, so next I'm going to ask, is this person a friend of yours? Is this person a friend of yours? Is this person a friend of yours? Okay, it's leaning towards no. So there's someone you know, but they're not a friend. Are they a lover? Are you currently in a love relationship with this person? Are you currently in a love relationship with this person? Or, you know, a connection of some kind, a love connection? Do you have a love connection with this person? Okay, it's leaning towards yes. 
So this reading is for you. If there's already somebody that you're currently either connected to or in a relationship with. Okay, so it's not just a friend or an acquaintance. It's somebody who you have romantic feelings for that the two of you are already romantically connected. And again, the card that you were drawn to says, my emotions for you are running deep. So this is someone who does have sincere romantic feelings for you. So let's get into their physical characteristics, okay? What eye color does this person have? 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 So it looks like it's leading towards blue. I was going to say green, but it immediately moved towards blue. So I would say about blue green. Yes, let's say about blue green eye color. Okay. All right, what's this person's hair color? What is this person's hair color? All right, so it's leaning towards black. Yep, yeah, black or dark hair with blue-green eyes. Somebody who you're already connected to. Let me just do eye color once more, just to double check, okay? What is the color of this person's eyes? What is the color of this person's eyes? Yep, going back towards green. Is it green eyes? Green eyes? Yep, okay, so I'm gonna go with green eyes and the black hair was very clear. So green eyes, black hair. What is this person's skin color? What is this person's skin color? What is this person's skin color? All right, so it looks like we have light brown. All right, so we had green eyes, black hair, light brown skin. What is this person's body type? 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 Is it medium build? Is that where you're leaning towards? What is this person's body type? Yeah, it looks like it's leaning towards a medium build. All 
All right, so very specific message. This is someone who you're already in a love connection with, who has very sincere emotions for you. They have green eyes, black hair, light brown skin, and a medium build, okay? So that's a very specific message for someone out there. Next, I'm gonna see what is the dominant zodiac energy. So not necessarily necessarily their sun sign, but dominant zodiac energy in their chart, okay? What is the energy in their chart you should be aware of now? What is this dominant zodiac energy in their chart? Okay, we have Venus. So this is what they value, how they love, okay? What is their Venus energy? How do they love? What do they value? Which zodiac sign is in charge of their Venus? How they love, how they value. Ooh, we have Leo. Okay. So Venus in Leo. What this means is that this person loves bold. And they love to they love to express themselves for you and to you and with you. Leos are ruled by the sun. So that makes me feel when they love you, they make it very clear. Like it's clear as day. The sunlight is shining bright on you. It's as if their spotlight was on you and you alone, which makes sense why the card that you were drawn to says my emotions for you are running deep. So this is someone who expresses themselves clearly when they're in love. Someone who puts a spotlight, all their energy on you. And someone who wants to show you off as well, because Leos are people who like to be seen. They like for people to admire them so this may be someone who likes to take you out show you off and have their friends and family admire you for your beauty for your worth for just the things that they love about you they want other people to see how much they love that about you as well so that's some very interesting energy for them to start off with okay so let's get into what will you like about them okay what will be some qualities that you like about this person? We have the seven of pentacles and we also have the three of swords. So what you'll like about this person, the seven of pentacles is about taking time to have gratitude for where you are in life. All right. And putting in the work and the effort towards reaching a harvest. Now we have the three of swords, which is about experiencing heartache, pain, betrayal at times. So how is this what you will like about this person? I feel like this person takes time to heal, to overcome their wounds, all right? And this also means that they're willing to work towards overcoming any problems. So this is not someone who lets problems make them break up with someone right away. There are some people that as soon as they start to experience problems, they run for the hills. But I feel like this person is willing to work through any problems that the two of you have so that the relationship can prosper, okay? So that's something that you will like about them is that they're determined and dedicated to make the relationship work, working through any issues or problems or misunderstandings that come up in order to reach a resolution and in order to love, to love each other wholeheartedly. All right, what will you admire and appreciate about this person? We have the Queen of Swords, which means that you will really appreciate this person's clear discernment, their clear judgment, the way they don't get overly emotional about things, but that they speak their truth lovingly without fear, okay? So you will really appreciate this person's mind, their judgment, their discernment, their ability to speak clearly, but also compassionately, and also their ability to work through things, which is probably why they're able to work through things, because even though their emotions for you are running deep, they don't let their emotions get the best of them and that's why they're not quick to run away because they can see clearly they can see above the clouds which makes it so that you know they always know what's best for them without letting their emotions get the better of them okay so let's look at the love oracle to find out what else 
you will like about them, okay? What will you like and admire about this person? Or what do you like and admire since it appears that you're already connected to them? What do you like and admire about this person? We have mask. It says not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, and gaslight. And since this is something that you admire about them, this is the fact that they don't operate like that, which reminds me of this queen of swords. Like they're very clear what what they give you is the truth okay they're not someone who wears a mask they're someone who shows their true feelings someone who doesn't gaslight you but honors you respects you and uses their discernment and their clear judgment okay what do you like about this person we have karmic relationship it says triggers turmoil resentments lessons which definitely reminds me of this up here so number one it appears that this is a karmic relationship which means that the two of you may be healing each other by showing each other things that you need to work through which really reminds me of this energy up here that you will like the fact that the two of you are always able to work through any triggers any traumas any turmoil that comes up you're willing to work through them okay what else do you appreciate about this person take a chance risk being strategic okay so that means that you appreciate this person's risk taking you appreciate how strategic they are okay it may be even someone that you initially felt was a risk, but you took a chance on love with them and you really felt like, okay, this is someone who's really dedicated to me, okay? Beautiful energy. All right, so let me get some more general information about them. What do you need to know about this person at this time? It says your paths will cross in their birthday month. So because this is someone you've already met, it's very possible that you did meet them around the time of their birthday. Okay. Wow. It says has black hair. And that's exactly what came up in the pendulum reading as well. Somebody that has black hair. Wow. Okay. That's a huge confirmation. What else do you need to know about this person? has creative hobbies. Reminds me of that Leo energy. They're Venus and Leo, being creative, being self-expressive. What else do you need to know about this person? Plays a musical instrument, very interesting. So they may be someone who's musically inclined, someone who loves to play music, all right? Actually knows how to play a certain instrument. All right, very interesting energy. Okay, so let's look at your compatibilities, okay? What compatibilities do the two of you share? We have Seven of Swords, which is about deception. It's about looking out for people who betray you. So this is really interesting energy that the things that you like and the things that you share with each other could lean towards the negative side. But what I feel this represents as far as your compatibilities is your ability to overcome deception. Maybe this queen of swords being able to see through the BS, seeing over the clouds, knowing how to read people. Okay, that's a clear message that just came through. The compatibilities that the two of you share will, being, will be being able to read people, which reminds me of this mask card, being able to see through people's masks, all right? All right, so very intuitive is what I'm getting. The both of you are intuitive, intuitive, you can read people, and you overcome BS and deception with that ability. And on the bottom of the card, or the deck, is the moon card, which is all about seeing underneath the surface of things, okay? What compatibilities will the two of you share? See, what did I say? The devil card. So <laughs> there's a lot of quote unquote negative energies coming up, but I just feel that it means that the two of you are able to overcome BS together. And that's what keeps you to, you know, going through the long haul is that you're able to confront fear. You're able to confront heartache and heartbreak, deception, liars, cheaters, addictions, anything that the two of you confront, you're able to overcome with grace. And I think that's a beautiful thing. That's actually what's going to keep this relationship going through the long haul is by being able to deal with the negative things easily with grace okay 
Very interesting reading for you. All right, so let's get one final Oracle card to just give you some final advice, information for this relationship, this connection. It says, I can replace false premises with law-based premises. Reminds me of all this energy here. These are false premises. Heartbreak, lying, cheating, addiction. These are all false, okay? So let's see what it says. It says, there has been a theme unfolding here of replacing flawed premises with law-based premises. And we would like to leave you with one final one. We all make too much of this. It is simpler than we all make it out to be. Be easy about it. Be kind to yourself. Do things that feel fun. Look for things that bring you relief and just easily move into that place, your vortex, where all things that you want have already been lined up for you. So this is exactly what I was saying is that the two of you confront things that are very negative or challenging, things that would knock other people down the two of you are able to move through them with ease and grace. This is something that you admire about them. And this is a compatibility that the two of you share that things that are challenging to others for the two of you are easy and you're able to solve them with ease and grace. And that's what's going to keep your relationship burning over the long haul. All right, beautiful soul. If you resonate with this message and you want to claim it for yourself, go ahead and comment a sword emoji down below. Again, if you resonate and want to claim this message, comment a sword emoji. Also remember, if you did like this message and you want a deeper personal reading, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box below. Until the next reading I get to do for you, I'm sending you so much peace and love. Bye for now. Welcome in card number three. Thank you for joining me for your pick a card reading to find out all the details about your soulmate. Very exciting reading today. So the card that you were drawn to in the beginning says, I am showing you your wounds and things you need to work on. So right away, this sounds like a karmic or a past life connection with this soulmate, someone who's going to teach you more about yourself and vice versa. The stone that you were drawn to is the green gold stone. So first thing I'm going to do is use the pendulum to find out, is this someone you already know? Okay. Is this person someone you already know? Is this person someone you already know? Is this person someone you already know? So it's leaning towards no. All right, your soulmate is someone you have not yet met. All right, so now I'm going to ask, will you meet this person within one year? Will you meet this person within one year? Will you meet this person within one year? It's saying no. I'm going to shorten it and if it's a no, I'll lengthen it and we'll see what happens. Is this person someone you will meet within six months? Is this person someone you will meet within six months? Okay, so it's leaning towards no again. Okay, so let's move towards two years, okay? Is this someone you will meet within two years? Is this someone you will meet within two years? All right, looks like it's shifting towards yes. Is this someone you will meet within two years? Is this someone you will meet within two years? Yes. Okay, 
So your soulmate is someone who you do not yet know, but you will meet them within two years. So six months in a year was too short, but it did indicate yes for two years, okay? Now let's look at their physical characteristics. What are some physical traits this person will have? So what will their eye color be? What will this person's eye color be? What will this person's eye color be? What will their eye color be? All right, looks like we're moving towards brown. Okay, so we have brown eyes. What will their hair color be? What color hair will this person have? So it looks like brown again. All right. Okay, so we have brown hair, brown eyes. What will their skin color be? What skin color will this person have? Looks like medium brown. Yep, so we have brown eyes, brown hair, and medium brown skin. All right, yep, very clear. And what will their body type be? What body type will this person have? What body type will this person have? Muscular? Yep, okay, so we have your soulmate is someone who you'll meet within two years they have brown eyes, brown hair, medium brown skin, and a muscular body type. All right, so next I wanna look at what is the predominant zodiac energy that you will be aware of? So not necessarily their sun sign, but what is the predominant zodiac energy that they will show you, okay? What is the predominant zodiac energy of this person we should be aware of? Okay, oh, we have Sun, Venus, Midheaven, and South Node. So this is a lot. Let me just go with Sun and Venus because Sun is their outward personality. Venus is what they love and value, okay? All right, so what do we need to know about Sun sign? What is a potential Sun sign here? We have Pisces, okay? So Pisces, a water sign, so they may be another water sign, but definitely someone with watery energy, which means they're sensitive, they're intuitive, they care about other people's feelings. Sometimes they show their emotions. That doesn't mean they're overly emotional, but they do have emotions and they do share them. They don't hold them inside. They're probably a dreamy person, someone who's very imaginative, okay? Now we also have Venus. What do you need to know about their Venus energy? How will they love? What will they value? What will they love and value? What will they 
love and value. All right, we have Aries. So this person with Aries Venus means that their Venus is ruled by fire. And that means that they're very passionate. What they love, what they value is passion, inspiration, enthusiasm. Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. It is about being yourself, being your own leader. It's about making sure that you are honoring yourself. They can be a little hot headed, but it's because they're so passionate as well. So the way this person loves and values is they're very passionate. Sometimes Sometimes their emotions can get the better of them when it comes to you know how hot they are how do they love and value but the, they will like they will be all over you essentially they will be someone whose sexual drive and chemistry is very hot very passionate very you know just driven okay so ultimately this could be a water sign or at least somebody who's more sensitive someone who's dreamy and intuitive but how they love will be passionate and fiery, okay? All right, so let's get into what you will like and appreciate about them, okay? All right, we have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is about being determined to persevere against all odds and all obstacles, which reminds me of this card that you were drawn to about I'm showing you wounds and things you need to work on. It's possibly because you really admire this person's perseverance. They don't get, you know, they don't let the battle overcome them. They put up whatever boundaries or defenses they need to, which reminds me of this Aries energy, but they are determined to persevere. And that's something that you really like about them. All right. What is something you will like, admire, appreciate about this person? We have Ace of Pentacles and King of Cups. So right away, the King of Cups reminds me of this Pisces watery energy because the King of Cups is someone who is very compassionate, someone who's emotionally mature, balanced, stable, someone who understands other people's emotions. So this definitely resonates with me and that's something that you will appreciate about them is their compassion, their emotional maturity. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, which means that uh, with this Aries, they will value accomplishing goals. They will value things that they can create, things that they can do and achieve in their life. So you will appreciate this person's desire to set goals, desire to manifest, desire to spark new beginnings in their life. They're not someone who likes to be stagnant, someone who's always per pursuing growth in their life, okay? So again, things that you will really appreciate, admire about this person are their ability to persevere despite all obstacles and odds, their ability to be compassionate and emotionally mature and their desire to continue growing and planting new seeds in their life all right so let's look at the love oracle what are some things you appreciate and admire about this person what are some things you will appreciate about this person we have acts, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment. So I'm drawn to here where it says stop the pattern. And that's what this card here is about. It's I'm showing you wounds and things you need to work on. So this person is going to help you stop the pattern of wounding in your relationship. So it's possible that you've been hurt in relationships before and it has you like this person here is like trapped kind of behind their boundaries, you know, and this person is going to give you the perseverance to go beyond those wounds and stop the pattern of whatever's been hurting you in, in relationships. And it reminds me of this energy of the water Water, understanding other people's emotions they're going to understand you emotionally and why you may be triggered or have certain wounds from previous heartbreaks that you may be carrying forward and so if they trigger you they're going to understand that it's not them but it's what you've been through and by understanding that motivation they're not going to keep pushing your buttons they're going to give you the strength the understanding to help you move through that by not you know antagonizing you okay what would you like about this person palm tree Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Endurance, growth, 
flexibility, okay? So you, like I said, you will really appreciate this person's desire to grow. You will appreciate their desire to endure, all right? And you'll appreciate their flexibility and their understanding through their emotional integrity, okay? What's something you will appreciate about this person? We have wedding rings and kisses. So with these two cards, it says union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, and unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. So your soulmate is definitely somebody that you can go the distance with, somebody who's going to love you equally and unconditionally, give you the affection that you desire, and also somebody who may even propose to you, someone who will want to marry you and commit to you, okay? So again, you'll appreciate their ability to help you overcome any traumas, any triggers from the past. You'll appreciate their flexibility, their desire to grow and persevere. And you'll appreciate the fact that they are committed and unconditionally loving with you and that they want to take this relationship the distance with you as well. All right, so let's get some other cards just to see what other attributes they may have. We have visits the beach frequently. What other attributes should you know about this person? Is an only child. Very interesting. Loves movie nights. And listens to a wide range of music. So those are some interesting characteristics that this person may have. Visits the beach frequently. Loves movie nights. Is an only child. And listens to a wide range of music. Very cool. All right, so let's look at what are the two, the compatibilities that the two of you will share, okay? What compatibilities will the two of you share? Oh, ooh, we have the 10 of pentacles, which confirms that you very well be getting married with this person, okay? The 10 of pentacles is about, you know, union, stability, Security, the palm tree and the wedding rings. This is what the Ten of Pentacles is about, okay? Stability, security, legacy, love, you know, everything that we really cherish in desire when it comes to, you know, marrying somebody, being with somebody, creating a legacy of love and security and permanence. This is abundance, you know, uh, physical abundance. So the two of you may have no issues with your finances and you will have the ability to make sound investments and grow your financial portfolio and picture with one another, have a nice home, you know, all those beautiful things, stable and secure. All right. What is the compatibility between the two of you? We have the Two of Swords. Very interesting. So the Two of Swords is about trusting your intuition when blinded by the unknown. Let me get another card to clarify. We have Death and the Star. Very interesting. So when I started shuffling again, I was really drawn to this stop the pattern and I'm showing you your wounds and things to work on. So at times this may feel tricky to you. You may feel like it's not working out and sometimes, but that's only when the triggers and the wounds come up. And the reason for that is to completely let them go. The death is about letting go of things that aren't working anymore, stopping the pattern essentially so that we can be reborn into a completely new version and experience so the compatibilities that the two of you share is that even in times when you're blinded by the unknown and you feel afraid and uncertain about the connection those experiences are leading to the death of all triggers and things that are preventing you from having the type of relationship that you desire leading to restored faith the star card comes after the tower which the tower is chaos and destruction so if you've had chaotic experiences or torrential relationships where you went through hell and back this person is going to restore your faith that love is for you that you can have the marriage and the home and the family that you really desire whatever you want in relationships is possible and this person is going to show you that and prove that to you okay so let's get one final oracle card just for some final advice on this relationship we have our varied behavior adds to the planet's well-being. Very interesting. 
It says, when you remember that nothing can come into your experience without your vibrational invitation of it, and when you remember that the varied behavior of others adds to the balance and the well-being of your planet, even if they offer behavior that you do not approve of and that you do not have to participate in the unwanted behavior and will not unless you give your attention to it, you become more willing to allow others to live as they choose. Wow. So that really reminds me of what I was saying with this watery King of Cups and Pisces energy. They are going to allow you to have your triggers and see your wounds for what they are. And that's the residual experiences that you've been through bubbling up into the current reality. So they're not going to judge you for it. That's exactly what I said. They're not going to judge you for those experiences. Anytime they come up, they're going to see them for what they are. There are, you know, residual things from the past. So they understand that your behavior is going to lead to your well-being because the more that they honor you and respect you and don't antagonize you when you go through these experiences, the more you're going to trust them and have faith that they're not that person that hurt you. They're not that person who did you wrong. So again, their emotional stability and maturity is going to help you overcome any behavior that might be preventing you from really having the type of love that you desire in your life. And through that experience, the two of you are just going to grow stronger and stronger and stronger in love with one another. So I love that. That is so beautiful. All right. If you love this message, you resonate and you want to claim it for yourself, go ahead and comment a golden cup. It's like a trophy, gold trophy cup. Okay. So comment the gold trophy cup if you claim and accept this reading. Also, if you feel drawn to getting a personal reading to get a deeper message for yourself, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box below. And until our next reading, I'm sending you so much peace and love. Bye for now. Welcome in card number four. Thank you so much for joining me for your pick a card reading this week to find out all the details about your soulmate. The card that you were drawn to in the beginning is I can't stop thinking about you. The stone that you are drawn to is the opal. So first thing I'm going to do is use the pendulum to find out, is this someone you already know? Okay. Is your soulmate someone you already know? All right. It's leaning towards yes. Is this a yes, somebody you already know? All right, so I will take that as a confirmation. Yes, you already know this person. Let's find out if this is a friend of yours. Is your soulmate someone you consider a friend? Is your soulmate someone you consider a friend? Yes. All right. So that confirms that your soulmate is someone you already know. They are someone you consider a friend and they're someone who says they can't stop thinking about you. So clearly they don't just want to be friends with you. They want to take things to the next level. So let's look at their physical characteristics. Okay. What eye color does this person have? What eye color does this person have? What eye color does this person have? All right, looks like it's leaning towards brown. All right. A friend with brown eyes. What hair color does this person have? 
what color hair does this person have? Looks like it's leaning towards reddish brown. Okay, so this friend has brown eyes and reddish brown hair. All right, what skin color does this person have? What is this person's skin color? What is this person's skin color? Looks like it's heading towards fair. Or tan. What color skin does this person have? Yeah, more fair. Is it fair or tan? Maybe in between, not completely pale, but not completely tan. Yeah, it's more fair skin, which makes sense with the reddish hair. Okay, so they have brown eyes, reddish brown hair, and fair skin. All right. And what body type do they have? Which body type does this person have? What body type does this person have? Looks like we're leaning towards stocky. Yep, okay, stocky it is. All right, so your soulmate is someone you already know, who you consider a friend, who has serious feelings towards you. There's someone with brown eyes, reddish brown hair, fair skin, and stocky body. All right, so let's look at a dominant zodiac energy. So not necessarily their sun sign, but what is the dominant energy that you will be aware of? What is this person's dominant zodiac energy? Okay, so it is the sun sign to be aware of. What is a possible sun sign for your soulmate? We have Leo, all right, Leo sun. So the Leo is ruled by the sun. So that means this person is going to be very clear in who they are. So the Leo is someone who's self-expressive, someone who loves the light to be on them. So you may recognize them as someone who loves themselves, someone who likes to be admired, not necessarily narcissistic or someone who's completely self-absorbed, but someone with big, bold energy. They're the performer in the group. They're the person who talks loud and wants to be seen. They're the person who really likes themselves and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? So they have a healthy ego, they like themselves, they like to be bold, they like to have friends, to be surrounded by people, to you know appreciate them and that sort of thing. So it's very possible that this person could be a Leo or another fire sign as well, but definitely someone who's very bold, self-expressive, who you know, loves to be admired, who loves to, you know, be on the stage or maybe not necessarily on the stage, but have that performer type energy. Okay. All right. So let's look at what you will like about this person. Okay. And if it's someone you already consider a friend, you may already kind of have a sensation of who this person is, okay? So what do you like about this person? What do you like about this person? All right, we have 
the eight of pentacles, which means something that you like about this person is that they continue to master themselves. They're always working on themselves. They're always getting new skills. They want to be the best version of themselves as possible, which definitely reminds me of this Leo energy, someone who strives to be the best in everything that they do so that they can be admired, so that they can be impressive. We have the ace of cups, which means you'll appreciate this person's open heart. They will be someone who tell you exactly how they feel about you. You know, it's possible that they want to tell you right now, but they're scared to, but they are going to open their heart towards you. That's what this Ace of Cups is about, okay? New beginnings in love, new beginnings in the heart space. So you'll like that about them as well. Knight of Wands means that they're passionate, fiery, enthusiastic, definitely Leo energy, fire sign energy, okay? So they're someone you'll like about them that they, like I said, they're passionate, they're fired up, they're ready to go. They inspire you, they inspire other people. They're very impressive in their energy but they also have an open loving heart and they're willing to new beginnings and love they also work hard on themselves continue to master themselves every day all right let's use the love oracle to see what else you will like about them boat it says receiving what you need progression arriving moving on and closure issues interesting so the moving on and closure issues reminds me of this ace of cups all right, so you'll like that they are someone who's moved on from any past connections. You'll like that they're opening themselves up to new beginnings. They're not holding on to any old love or anything like that. It's something you'll like about this person. Wow, just what I was saying. It says endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. So like I said, they're not holding on to anything that's old. They're not holding on to any exes or an idea that they could be with somebody from their past. They see that endings bring new beginnings and they're ready for new beginnings in their life. Okay, they're moving on. What else will you like about this person? It says cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head so i feel like this is something that they don't do okay because i've been explaining with these other two cards that they're not someone who dwells on the past okay so you will like that they're not someone who replays events over in their head you will like that they're someone who doesn't continually think about the past or bring the past up okay let's get some more oracle cards just some general information attributes this person may have okay what are some attributes this person may have we have owns a cat and wears hats often very interesting so this friend of yours may be someone who likes cats owns a cat someone who wears a lot of hats baseball caps fedoras those types of things this says, has something important to say to you. Wow, that's definitely an alignment. This person has serious feelings for you and they want to tell you rather soon. All right. And it says their last name has two syllables. Very interesting. So like Matthew or something like that. Something with two syllables is in their last name. All right. Very interesting. Okay. All right, so let's look at what are your compatibilities, okay? What compatibilities will you and this person share? What compatibilities will this person share? We have the Seven of Swords and the Empress, okay? So the Seven of Swords is about you know, deceivers, liars, cheaters, backstabbers. But the compatibility I hear will be the ability to overcome this type of energy, the ability to move on from any deceivers, being intuitive, being able to read through any masks or see anything from the bigger picture. And we have the Empress, which means that the two of you will both be unconditionally loving. You will value each other. You will appreciate each other. You will be creative, fertile. Growth will be important to you, okay? Okay. Let me get another card for compatibility. What is the compatibility the two of you will share? 
what is a compatibility the two of you will share we have judgment which makes sense here judgment means the two of you will have integrity have you the desire to operate in accordance with your highest self you may have spiritual inclinations morals respect all right you're definitely seeking the highest greatest version of yourself to love one another unconditionally to be unconditionally loving in the world as well okay so i i feel that your integrity the integrity that the both of you have will be a huge compatibility factor between the two of you that you have morals you have respect you have integrity you love unconditionally you're creative you're fertile okay you're spiritual you're awakened all right beautiful so let me get one final oracle card to give you some final words of advice and wisdom to move into this relationship. What do you need to know about this connection? This friend who wants to reach out to you, tell you how they feel about you. What do you need to know about this friend? All right, it says, I can find harmony by feeling for improved thoughts. If we were contemplating an action that caused negative emotion, we would not proceed with the action until we had resolved the negative emotion. We would make sure that we had come into alignment with source before proceeding. By feeling for the improved thought in time, and usually in a short time, you will feel the harmony of your source, and you will know the appropriateness of your behavior. We would not look for the long list of right and wrong, but instead we would feel for the emotion of alignment with source. So it's very drawn to hear where it says the appropriateness of your behavior because I definitely said here that your integrity your spiritual inclination your desire to be upright and have morals and operate in total respect is a compatibility between the two of you okay so you are able to overcome this negative energy that the seven of swords carries you're able to overcome deception the two of you aren't deceiving not one another not other people you don't operate in that energy you make sure that you are in integrity you operate in alignment with your spiritual nature which um which moves you into the opportunity to be in alignment in integrity okay so that is very beautiful, a huge confirmation that your integrity will be something that the two of you really share as a compatibility, okay? I love this message for you. If you want to claim this message for yourself, go ahead and comment a fire emoji for the Leo. Again, if you resonate with this message and you want to claim it for yourself, go ahead and comment a fire emoji. Also, remember that if you resonated with this reading and you want a deeper personal reading, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box below. And until the next time I get to read for you, I'm sending you so much peace and love. Bye for now.